So, next problem tayo. First up, given. So, a steel propeller shaft is to transmit a 4.5 megawatts. So, ang power natin. And I... 4.5 megawatts and ang ating frequency and ating F and I HZ 3HZ tapos sabi dito without exceeding a shearing stress of 50 MPa so meron tayong conditions ngayon dapat dito tayo gumapas ng shearing stress na 50 MPa and I mean, or twisting through more than 1 degrees in length. Sabihin, second condition natin, dapat ang ating deformation, torsion, ay hindi mag-exceed sa 1 degrees. Tapos given na nito yung length natin, so length of 26 diameters. So in, ang sinabi 26 diameters, etong diameters, hindi siya unit na ngaya meters, kilometers, millimeters. Dito, gito lang na sinabi dito is diameters. So, kung meron tayong... So, ang isang diameter, hindi natin alam if anong measurement niya. So, sabi lang dito, ang total na haba ng ating item ay 26 diameters. So, kapag nahanap natin ang diameters natin, if siya ay 5, so siya ay 5 times 26. Basta siya ay 26 times ng haba ng isang diameter. So, ang ating red ay 26 times D. 26 times ng length ng isang diameter. So, sabi to compute the proper diameter if G is 83 GPA. So, ang ating shear modulus ay 83 GPA. So, required sa atin, compute the proper diameter. So, may sinabi talaga, proper diameter daw. Kasi, Meron tayong two conditions. Condition 1, without exceeding a shearing stress of 50 MPa. And condition 2, without exceeding a twisting na 1 degrees. Bawat tayo mag-exceed sa 1 degrees na twisting. So, sugatan natin yung ating formulas. For shear stress, yan ay T max is equal to 16t over pi d cube for angle of shaft siya ay tl over ang j natin is the same as pi over 32 d raised to 4 tapos meron tayong g dito <coughs> so pwede tayong proceed actually pag solve dito okay. okay yung t max natin given naman siya yung ating diameter yan yung pinapaanap kaso yung T hindi pag-even okay so meron tayong two missing variables dito second equation naman natin eto given siya yung G given L given pa rin naman ang hindi given is yung torque and diameter diameter ganyan naman meron sa L so point na natin para to yung previous problem natin no? sa so, kada equation natin meron tayong two missing variables Tapos additionally, meron pa tayong extra given sa problem, given yung ating power and yung ating frequency. So, since given naman siya, hindi naman siya pang display dyan. So, utilize, gamitin natin siya, utilize natin siya using yung ating extra formula, which is power is equal to 2 pi t raised to f. So, take note, sabi natin sa ating first two equations, aside sa diameter ang missing, yung ating torque missing din siya. Kung ating observe etong formula natin na last, yung ating power, given siya. Yung ating F, given siya. So meaning, meron naman tayong isang missing variable, which is yung ating torque. So ibig sabihin, possible siya mahanap using etong equation. And kapag nahanap natin yung torque dito sa equation na to, ibig sabihin, meron tayong value for torque. So kapag tigbalikan natin yung ating two equations, Etong torque, may value na siya, may value na siya, meaning ang ating missing variable na lang ay diameter and diameter. So, ibig sabihin, no need tayo gumamit nung the same process na ginawa natin sa previous video kasi ngayon, possible siya makuha.
possible kaagad na ma-reduce natin yung number of anodes. So again, og and og, meron tayong uh, ano ba? Two anodes. So og and og, meron lamang tayong two anodes. So, so actually, kung normal problem to, okay na na two equations lang. Kasi two anodes na naman tayo. Ang anodes natin is torque and yung diameter. So again, pwede na ang two equations. Kaso, ang overall essence nitong problem is hindi naman hanapin yung missing variable. But rather, to compare based sa ating two conditions. So, kumbaga, ang nangyari dito, meron tayong, kumbaga, two solutions sa ating problem. Meron tayong condition 1, And condition 2. For both conditions, mag-start tayo sa paggamit na itong formula na ito. So, isolate muna natin yung T. Ang T is equal to yung ating power divided by 2 pi F. So, for condition 1, power is equal to 2 pi ay mag-e. Torque is equal to power over 2 pi F. And for condition 2, meron tayong torque is equal to power over 2 pi F. Ito ang ating equation 1. Equation 1. And ang ating equation 2 is itong T max natin for condition 1. And ito naman is yung angle of shaft. So, change ko na itong L. Ang L dito ay 26D. Para mas kita natin. Okay. So, again, review lang natin. Sa so start ng ating problem, ang sabi sa problem natin, pinapanap natin yung proper diameter. So, sa so pag-determine natin ng proper diameter, meron tayong two conditions sa problem na to. First, without exceeding a shear stress of 50 MPa. Yan yung ating condition 1. Condition 2, hindi dapat tayo mag-exceed sa twisting na 1 degrees. So, twisting through more than 1 degrees. Hindi tayo pwede mag-exceed dyan. So, yan yung ating condition 2. Kaya, kung ating kakonsider lang yung condition 1, Condition 1, uh, pinapasob sa atin is yung diameter given yung stress. Kaso yung torque natin missing pa. So, ibig sabihin, need natin ng another equation para masob yung torque. And gamit natin is yung formula ng power. So, two unknowns, diameter and torque. So, two equations ang ating gagamitin. Next naman, for condition 2, find the diameter given yung maximum deformation natin ay 1 degrees. So, meron tayong two unknowns, diameter as well as yung torque. Kaya, two equations tayong ating gagamitin talaga for condition 2. So, parang sa isang problem na to, meron tayong two smaller problems. Okay? Yung sa ating previous na problem ng tidakag, meron lamang tayong isang situation. And sa isang situation na yon meron tayong three unknowns. Ngayon, meron tayong two situations. And for each situation, meron tayong two unknowns, kaya gamit tayo ng two equations. Again, number of unknowns is equal to number of equations na gagamitin. So next video, takay na tayo nung actual na pag-solve natin.